he tried to kiss me. <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> I'm not that cheap. <laughs> you don't just take me to McDonald's and you want to... <laughs> no For the first time. Where am I supposed the, to yeah, take you? Yeah, the first date. Imagine. I want Mac and Bean. I want... Hey, you know, hey, 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 imagine just <laughs> McDonald's and then you want to <laughs> kiss. Oh boy, was not gifted <laughs> this much. So you, you, want, you want to story short, they disowned him. Yeah, they disowned him. I, I don't worry, I'm survive, I survived. You can He's see me. <laughs> Do I, do I look like someone that has been disowned? No. I, I can't disown a lapa, so I, I am I'm perfectly fine. I'm Today we have been blessed with your favorite YouTube couple, Pastor Bear and Debu. Yay! I'm so honored here yeah, to tell the truth. I'm so humbled to have you because you are like. One like a couple that I look up to. I've seen you grow on YouTube from day one up to mm. today. Thank today you. you're now you're now on two hundred thousand, eh? On uh, the T World. On the T World, yeah. Mm. We are yes. over two two eleven K. Wow, yeah. you've worked so much hard. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Because I know YouTube is not like TikTok and Instagram. You don't just grow. It's not you don't easy. just trend, you don't just get followers. Yes. Yeah, definitely. It took me two years to get one thousand subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. The first thing maybe that we can talk about is how you met. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. So so the, yeah, I think uh, it's an interesting one because uh, we we basically met at church. Um, oh, okay. That's where we we first saw each other for the first time. Uh, she was a visitor in the church that I was going to. Um, which which at the time was in Pretoria. So she was visiting the church and I was uh, in the ushering team. So mm. I basically received her, you know, wow. to the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, not being only to the Lord, but to my house as well. But, yeah. um, so she was visiting. Then I was in Asha. I basically showed her where to sit. Uh, she looked all attractive, so I, I got tempted as the, wow. you know, as the man of God. So I'm I like, got, that's a check. <laughs> when I got tempted, we didn't necessarily speak on the first um, uh, Sunday that much. I just showed her to a seat. Then the next time we, uh, I think we, we met up at a um, netball game, um, and I was pretending to be a sponsor, a sponsor of the netball uh, of the netball team. So that's where in I and I was basically following her in a way, oh, okay. you know. Right. So. I uh, then we, we when we met at the at the netball game, we then got a chance to talk. From there, we decided to um, maybe escalate things in terms of meeting beyond the the netball game. We had a date. I think the first date was where McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Aww. exactly. So that's pretty much in a short summary. That's that's where we met, pretty much. Yeah, and he tried to kiss me. <gasps> And I said, no, <laughs> I'm not that cheap. <laughs> you don't just take me to McDonald's and you want to <laughs> no, me no For the first time. Where am I supposed the, to take yeah, you? Yeah, the first date. Imagine. I want Mac and Bean. I want, hey, you know. Hey, 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 Imagine just <laughs> McDonald's and then you want to kiss. Oh boy, was not gifted <laughs> this much. So you, you, wanted, you wanted to kiss you in McDonald's? You wanted no, to after. kiss you? Oh, after. after Before she went. Actually, you know, uh, okay. I, I was, watching I was too saying, much movies. Uh, Abelung, you know how they do it when you, when yes. you like, the, before you leave, they're like <laughs> trying to grab you. You know. And then they're like, uh, looking uh, at you. Yeah, yes. Exactly. So, Mina, <laughs> Mina, I was trying that. Unfortunately, hey. Some black people are not particularly advanced, you know? Mm. So they're like, no, turn yeah. a, side, a side cheek in a way. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Well, <laughs> then you got married. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so after four months of dating, um, wow. he engaged me wow. with a, a pink diamond ring. Very wow. cute. But some people made fun of it. They say it was a lucky packet ring. <laughs> <laughs> was it not? Was it? But I do remember the price, though. I still remember how much it was. I think it was three hundred and fifty. Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah. How was that cheap? No, at that point it was expensive. Okay, that I'm was like thirteen years ago. Sure. Yeah, and it oh. was an intern. Wow. You know, so the fact that he went to stands, I think no, I think it was American Swiss, and he got that three fifty ring. Oh. You know, it was beautiful for me. I thirteen liked years it. ago. That's twenty. 2010, 20. Yeah, 2010. Oh, that time I was getting paid 12 rand 50 per hour at you McDonald's. See, you <laughs> see. Oh, yeah, so no. So 300 rand was a lot. Yes, yes. 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 Then uh, let, me, let me salute yes. myself. Yes. You did well, babe. You did well. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, four months after um, um, dating, we got engaged. And I think we started the Fat and Set. 
and uh, the pastors at church were not happy mm. because at that time I'm already I'm now I took his position I became the leader the Asha. of Asha yes. and he went into the pastoral leadership and don't don't they so obviously you know we are Christians and we are supposed to be um God's ambassadors Jesus ambassador whatever you call it so they called us into a meeting and they said that a uh, rumor has it that you guys are staying together uh, even though we tried to explain it and make it sound like this is the right way to do no. it. But they said, unfortunately, we'll have to... As Christians, we can't yeah, do that. We have to cut you from your your roles at church mm -hmm. in Don Doni. So we're giving you a week to go make that decision if you want to um, stay at different places and then you continue serving the Lord at church. Or if you want to continue with your fat and set, yeah. and then you will no longer be in that position. And I, my husband, Shem, he had a better... He had a, a, a better... A better Decision is like, babe, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let's get married. Mm -hmm. So we made an, uh, an appointment at Home Affairs. Uh -uh. Without paying no money. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody oh, knew. Oh, okay. That was us in the bedroom. You know, mm -hmm. like, yeah, baby, we, we, we can do this. Yes. No, we, we don't have to now go stay in different places and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I made an appointment because he was he went to work. And then they gave us a Tuesday one. That on Tuesday, you can come with your two witnesses. I I I I called my my two friends, Mam Ruby and Grace. Hey, come. Okay, so Grace is my adopted sister. Mam Ruby was our friend. So we're like, come guys, let's go. Be our witnesses. Come Tuesday, Pastor Bay takes a leave at work. And we walked all the way from Acadia to Home Affairs in Central. But as we're walking there, I share my husband, I could see that somebody's having second thoughts. He was scared. Yeah, I was scared he, of I, the I, was... I, I knew the devil was going to get hold of me at that point, and I'm like, no, I cannot do it. I cannot. Let yeah. me turn. And... So I could see that I kind of into it off, man. But I was like, I know because I want this, I'm already in it. I'm going to be a very good girl. Like usually, when you see your person having mood swings, you would like, what you doing? Why are you being like that? I did not. That day, I was like, no, baby, let's go. When he's trying to walk slow, like he wants to run away, I'm like, baby, we can, we, we can walk slow, you know. So, but yeah, we got there and um, we got married at home affairs. Uh, we paid 70 rent. They wow. gave us our marriage certificate. At that time, it's only four people that knows. It's me, my husband, and the two witnesses. So come Sunday, they call us, like, give us the feedback. What have you decided? And yeah, we pull out the marriage, marriage certificate, certificate, like, ta-da! Yeah, you know, mm. yo, I've never seen pastors so angry. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, they were angry. They were, they were angry, but we understood because we didn't do things the right way. Like no pastors was involved, no oh, family members, yeah. no, like nobody. They wanted knew. to be part of it. Also. They wanted, yeah, like yeah. the right way of doing it. You mm. know, like yeah, uniting two families and stuff like that. So they're like, no, this thing is going to be to get out of hand in a sense that um, we are obviously their church members in Pretoria, but at home, that's not our home church. So they decided to take our parents' uh, phone numbers uh, we gave to them and they said they are going to be call. the ones to call them and let them know what their kids have done. At that time, I'm 19. My husband is 22, 21. I'm 22. Yeah. Uh, so they we'd give them our, um, our parents', parents numbers them. and yeah, the next day I was on a call with my mom. We were talking, we're happy. She hangs up. I'm like, good night, good night. Within a minute, she calls back. I'm like, how did you forget something? And she's like, are you married? That, that, wait, are, are you married? That Imakan, let me ask, are you, yes or no? And then I said, yes. And then she said, okay, so you came to Victoria to study and now you are a wife. Pack your bags and come back home. Oh, Yeah, that was the order. So Pastor Bay, Naye, now I'm telling him, like, like he's seeing everything happen. At that time, we were staying in a bachelor flat in Leo's place. Yeah, in Church Street. So he's, he's there, like looking at me like what's happening i'm like she knows you know now he's holding his phone so that now you expect a call from the parents. the parents and they didn't call and the next day unfortunately i had to leave him like that because my mom said i must come back home so you went back i had to go back home yeah but when i got home and mom my mom was she was a tough cookie to crack but she was also i knew which buttons to press you know, so I convinced her, I told her this was the right decision for me. And, and, and she's like, oh, no, okay. The next day I, I came back, back and I came back with my brother to come visit because it was school holidays. So it was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the other one here, he stressed, you know. Yeah. And the, 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 I think the little sister called and said, Should, what did you do? You know, it's like they are so angry. They didn't want to call him. So, but to cut the uh, long story short, they disowned him. Yeah, they disowned I, me. I, don't worry, I'm survived. I survived. You can He's see alive. me. 
<laughs> do, I, do I look like someone that has been disowned? No. I, I got disowned Lapa, so I, I am I'm perfectly fine. I think it was a it was a difficult moment at the time. Um, I, I wouldn't lie, honestly, it was very difficult because um, at that time I was still very young, as you can imagine. Twenty two, you just finished, uh, nearly finished with uh, with your varsity. Mm-hmm. Um, then you expecting that the next few years are going to be joyful. Obviously, you would have to expe- expect the disowning because you you pretty much did something without their approval or without them knowing. So it's expected. And for me, I'm a firm believer that when you do something, you must be willing to live with the consequences. Mm -hmm. So I I always say that to whoever, that live with the consequences of your actions. You cannot do something and expect something to just uh, happen, everything to be in favor of you when you know that you have done something wrong. So I didn't really mind in a way. But yeah, Yeah. a few months down the line, everything... Uh, went back to normal. We I, we went home. I had to apologize. They called in the pastor. Um, my mother, my father were there. So we had a meeting. I think you were also there, ne? I don't uh, remember. Yeah, I can't recall. <laughs> so we had we we went there. We had a meeting with the pastors and everything. Just I had to apologize and uh, express my my um, apologies and and so on and so forth. But the condition was that you were going to do things right. In yeah. other words, you were going to need to have okay, a wedding, to take off the shame. Because, I gotta, you know, at home, it's all about what would the neighbors think, you know, what would people say. Because even at church, in the local church, I was quite active. So what will people say about the parents who are also active in the church? So you need to apologize and then have a proper wedding so that people can then, the shame can then disappear. But unfortunately, people didn't afford at that time. We, we were basically broke in a way, you know, we didn't have anything because I was still a, 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 an, intern. A, an intern. She was she was still at school. So we were literally blo- broke. Then it means that we have to find some way to then make uh, ends meet in terms of the wedding and so on and so forth. So it then resulted into taking the, the, the loan. After taking the loan, we had the, whew, the, the, the most ridiculous <laughs> wedding that one could ever think of. You know, everything was just a mess because we were just trying to uh, whatever we, analysis, exactly, yeah. You know? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to uh, take over this 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 uh, show. No, so no, no. It's all, it's, 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 <laughs> it's all about you. Yeah, because um, what I think is like I'm, I'm Shona, ne? I'm Shona from Zimbabwe. Okay. So I think like the vendor culture and the Shona culture, they're um, like no, we're neighbors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I'm like when you get married without n- letting your parents know. It's a big, yeah. Um, it's a disgrace. It's, it's a yo. It's a big class. I don't know what you yeah. yeah. to say it in English. I think in any culture, in I don't think there's any, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's. I don't think there's any parents that would want their kids to get married without their knowledge, whether you are white, black. But I've, Shona, Venda. I've, but, seen, I've seen white people yeah, get married white, without their white, parents. Yeah, they just buy a ring. It's, it's not all of them, right? But yeah. I think whites are more flexible. Yeah, they are more yeah. flexible. They understand certain things. But we, we are more cultural and mm, we are more traditional. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm. We hold on to our beliefs. That's why it's difficult. And there, there's also the Lobola part that we must not put yeah, away. Yeah, the most important part <laughs> is the Lobola. Yes, yeah. yes, So you yes. can't do away without it. Yeah, yeah, we are very cultural. I just wanted to, to let you know that Eli can show now if you, let's say you go visit your boy friend mm. yeah. and it's like getting sunset you get home late ah you're, you're in trouble back, go back to to the husband you are already somebody's <laughs> wife <laughs> really? but i think your yeah. father is also like that get go yeah. back to where you were go back Yo, Yo. That's, so that's you have active. to you know that five o'clock or four o'clock i have to be home mm. yes yeah yes mm. yeah but even at my house they used to do that for all of us uh yeah. even, even when i was married when he's married and he comes uh, back at 6 p.m they'll, yeah, tell, him they'll tell him they'll tell me sorry that uh <laughs> where, where, where are you coming from he would uh, even call me he would even pick up the phone yeah and call me and say it's six o'clock here we get home at five o'clock. What, mm. Where are you? The father of the house is at yes. home. Exactly. Where they're not there. Exactly. Home. <laughs> like they say that they, they can never be two bulls in one yes. crawl. So yes. that's that's you have to respect the bull mm. of the crawl. At so when point. you visit yeah. there, you you humble yourself, ne? We have to. Too we much. have no choice. Too we much. have to be at home there. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's why we can't wait to leave. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Maybe my bro- fellow brothers and sisters are watching, but we can't wait to leave when we are at yeah, home. Yeah, you know when you... you hey, to your own yeah. freedom. <laughs> like... That one is, is... Me, I miss my bed. Whenever I go visit my mother <laughs> or my in-laws, I miss my bed so much. I can't wait to leave. Like, yeah. No and wake up at your own time. Yes. You know? Because they, like, I'll be trying to wake up at 6 a.m. Pastor B is like, no, baby. Let's say, I'm like, hey, I have to wake up. It's like, six. no, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you wake up at 6 
they'll be like they, they are done sweeping us they like even sweeping outside the yard i don't know if you do that they, they do. sweep the yard they sit next to your door yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah. you're like, oh, you must wake yes. up at 4 a.m yeah so we'll be wrestling in bed saying no you're staying here you're my wife you're not getting i'm like hey it's me that is going to be embarrassed Trouble. when I have yes, to wake up and yes, find yes. everything proper. How do you even touch the bread when everybody have already cleaned and that time yeah. they are sitting there outside and they are looking at you? So I yeah. think, yeah, it's all about adjusting though. Yeah, you know? that's why you're saying you can't wait. Whenever you feel that you can't wait, to yeah, can't wait to all of us, I place. think we're like that. We yeah. never you even use your own toilet, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You don't yeah. have anyone looking at you. Yes, you know, it's true. But hey, that's our tissue. <laughs> you are finishing the tissue. You are finishing the tissue, you know? Yeah. You are using your own in a way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so before you started YouTube, you were at PEP. Is it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, before YouTube, um, I worked at uh, various places and PEP was one of them, Pep, in Silverton. I was a cleaner there. Oh. Yeah, so I used to clean the whole... Okay, the, the, the plan was that it was supposed to be two people cleaning the floor. But because I was a newbie, I was desperate. They would make me alone to clean the whole Eesh. store. And sometimes when you're cleaning there, you guys, you come there with your handbags and your boots and you're stepping there. And then I have to then re-clean again. And you come, you say... Hey, can I have size one to what? Hey, the storage there. You have to go to the storage and look for a dry mag size 10. Like, you, it can literally take you 30 minutes. But uh, I think it was part of the process. I mean, after all, um, I'm here. But I also worked at ShopRite as a teal packer. Initially, I was supposed to work as a manager. I got a phone call that um, I need to come for an interview uh, as a manager. I was happy. I was very happy. And my husband was like, no, this is it for you, baby. You know, you were crying that uh, you are unable to get a qualification. Look at you. They're calling you for a management position. I got there at ShopRite Cinemarks and... Uh, the next thing, I was dressed very, very well. I was wearing boots, mm. you know, formal jackets. Yeah, but hey, the next thing, I woke up with my boots on the floor, my <sighs> jacket on the floor. I fainted. What? Yeah, but that's what used to happen when I write exams. I would faint. Oh, okay. I just didn't think it will happen during the interview. So obviously, they're like, yeah, you can't be a manager. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want you to be fainting, fainting here yes. and stuff like that. Mm. But they said, no, but because you really want the job, you can be a tail packer. So you can imagine when I stepped, when I walked into the shop, right? I was looking at my people, like the cashiers. I'm going to be managing you. Your people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> people yes, you know? yes. And then the next thing, when I come out, I'm now a tail packer. They're telling somebody, one of the tail packers to come show me how to pack because there's a particular way of packing. But I was grateful for the job. So I, I worked as a tail packer as well at, at shop, right? Yeah. Uh, amongst other things. Uh, amongst other things. Where have you not worked though? But, yeah, uh, I've worked everywhere. <laughs> I've, tried, <laughs> I've tried it all. I mean, if I, I feel like uh, sometimes I think when you are not educated, when you don't have a qualification, it's hard. you have no choice. other choice. There's no, like my husband can always say, if he's starting a business, if it doesn't work out, I can always go back to work. You know, I can always get a job. I can mm -hmm. always, mm -hmm. But when you're not educated, when you don't have a qualification, you don't have a plan B. So your plan A is your plan A. It's the only plan that you have. So for me, it has always been hustling. Like I've always been a hustler. Like I don't think there's anything that I've not done, like you said. Oh. Yeah, but look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, I'm, 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 like I've always spoken to my sister telling you that like maybe we were groomed or the education system made us think that in order for you to be someone in life, you need to have a white collar job. Mm. You need to yes. be a lawyer. You need to be a teacher. But I'm so grateful that now we are getting to open our eyes. Mm -hmm. We're getting exposed to so much. Mm -hmm. You can be someone, you can be something. Um, they say education is not the only key, key to, to open the door. Yes, yeah. yes. No, definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm the living proof. I yes. Yeah. So, so is Pastor Bay also, like, did he leave his job and is doing the YouTube no. thing? No, oh, yeah, Pastor Bay. Even when uh, I, I start businesses and they are doing very well, mm. I'm always one to say, babe, now you can resign. You know, mm. you can, especially when he comes back home and he's saying that maybe his working environment is toxic. I'm always be the one to say, babe, you can just leave it. You yes. can leave it. We can yeah. do this. But he has always said that um, he wants something. He wants security. Yes. Because with business, I'm sure he, he, he saw it as well because he was also, he was always involved in the business that I'm doing. That sometimes you can get 20K, the next month you get 1K. Mm. So you can never really live a comfortable life with mm. just depending on that before you can have savings. So Pastor Bay is always, he has yeah, never no, stopped a, doing I'm 9 a, to 5. I'm a firm, uh, uh, I'm firm on the, on the 9 to 5 part, on the basis of security. 
because me uh, traditionally so being a husband uh, I always want to provide for my family I, mean, I don't want my my children to have to um, a struggle in a way um, uh, the same lifestyle that they were introduced as, uh, I mean especially considering the fact that things were not always like this we have struggled like mm. big time mm. like to the last core especially when the younger the older one was born mm. we, we were struggling a lot so just to be able to afford them certain things I think that's for me key and and if I need to leave my job then I need to have the security to be able to do so I'm not against it it's only that I need to be sure about it before I do it. Yeah, but yeah. there was a time when he would say, no, baby, if you start making like about 40,000 rand on YouTube, <laughs> I'm going to quit. Jesus. I went and I made 40. I doubled it every single month. <laughs> Did he quit? No. <laughs> no, I, I had to think of the expenses yeah. that I need to do separately <laughs> that I was not able to afford when it was just one salary. So Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I think I also... Uh, I also, I also, I'm also with you on this one. That as mm. a husband, you have to provide. You cannot Definitely. play. You cannot take chances. Mm. You have to pro provide. If she doesn't make anything, mm. what use, then? Yes, mm. yeah. it looks at me. Yes, it looks yeah. at you. Mm. No, yeah, so yeah, I understand. I understand that part. So your YouTube journey, you know, can you please take us how you started making one thousand up to a million? Congratulations so, on the two. <laughs> two. I'm sitting with the millionaires, guys. Like oh, this is a million. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> It's, yes, it's but you've made it. It <laughs> doesn't yeah. even have trace. <laughs> yeah, but the, the fact that you have made it. Yes, guess, you've made yeah, it in life. Two yeah, million, not the, one. Yeah, two. True. Yeah. Wow. But, yeah, we, we don't have it anymore. But at least. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you say it uh, in, a, in, a, in a nice, in a soothing way. We don't have it anymore. Like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, like, but the, the good thing is that there are things that we look at and we can see that two million where it went, mm. you know. But with the YouTube journey, it was always because I, like I said, that I'm, I've always been a hustler and my husband is one person that he has always encouraged me, Shem. One day I wake up and I said, I want to have a catering company shem he will hustle hustle give me 5k buy plates buy pots i started i fail and he's like okay what next i, I want to sell lingeries i used to sell kinky lingeries and they were not making as much money so i i remember he gave me 10k to buy wow. a stock and the stock became the gift that i will give to my friends when there's bridal showers <laughs> Because now people were not buying, mm. you know. And I became, I, I, I started a cleaning company. I remember with cleaning company, I think that was the last company that I started before I could become a YouTuber. And I remember on Theo's bed, I think it was turning seven years, I got a phone call. We didn't have cake that day for Theo. I got a phone call in Greenstone and somebody said, come clean my house. And when that person said it, I was like, it's Greenstone. They are rich. I'm like, hi, I charge 800 ranchers to clean one bedroom. And the person said yes, because they were desperate. So at least I, I went there. I took my Kia Picanto. I was driving Kia Picanto that he bought for me. He didn't have a car at the time. So I went there. I cleaned the whole house and I came back with 800 rand and we were able to buy a cake and then do a photo uh. for the baby. You know, it was beautiful. But then when it comes to the YouTube journey, it's something that I, I, I used to look at and I would see other YouTubers saying that I've made this much. But at that time I was like, okay, maybe I can't do it because I don't have the right equipment. I don't have, because I didn't know that you could actually do it with just a cell phone, mm -hmm. you know? So luckily he got a new job, this side in Jobek. So we were staying in Pretoria for like seven years. So we only moved to Jobek four years ago. So when we moved this side, obviously he got some retirement money. You wow. know? And he's like, okay, baby, I can now buy you the lights. I can buy you cameras and can buy you one, two, three, one, two, three. He bought those things. And I'm like, I want to do the couples um, challenge channel. Cause I used to follow like Abo, Kin and Diera. You know, I used to like, okay, no, they're doing that. some nice stuff. I recruited him. He came, Shem, he joined. Like he, he's always been supportive, even though they didn't want to do it, but he will, what can he do? Because <laughs> <laughs> so um we started a, a channel called we fun couple because we felt we were, we were fun. fun yes yeah, you, are, you, know? you are yeah but we thought obviously when you start a youtube channel you're going to start making money but then when you start you realize oh, yeah, now they are saying four thousand watch hours hey yeah, they are saying one thousand subscribers. subscribers at that time you're getting one subscriber a, a day, day yo. and you're like ha ah, this is Sophie Kamara. So eight months later, we were still on the same views wow. and the subscribers are not even moving. People are, you know, I, like, I, think, I feel like South Africans, they, they take time. I feel like they subscribe more if you already have subscribers. Like what you, once you reach a certain number, then all of them, they start believing in you. But it takes very hard for them to like, if you've got one subscriber for them to come and be the second one, the third one. Ha, huh? mm -mm. Hey. So it was, it took like eight months and there was nothing that was happening. And we had to have the conversation again with babe. You promised that if I buy cameras, if I do it's going to work out. Gonna, where is the man? On a Sunday, actually, and we were going to church. It was I and him and our three sons, Lucky, Theo and Ethan. And I said, I want to be 
a gossip. I want to do a gossip channel. Hey, it was a debate on our way to church. The he and the the um, the yes, our son. first son yeah. were like, uh, no, we don't think it's a good idea. As a Christian, you shouldn't do that because you can't be gossiping about people. I justified it. I made it look so proper. Like I'm going it's to just be, news. I'm, I'm just reading what's trending. It's just news. To, yeah. I'm just gonna report. I convinced them yes. the whole way until they said yes. Mm. And then I, I I went and I started. And lucky enough for me, when I started, you know, when you've got hunger. Like I had so much hunger to a point where I was not sleeping. I made wow. sure that whatever that was coming, I wanted to be one of the very first to, to report, you know? And the first story that actually got me a lot of views and subscribers, it was the story that he suggested to me. It was Al Frugau when he was raising the dead. Uh, yeah, that story of that pastor. And he's like, babe, please do it. I'm like, okay, let me do it. And then I got like 5,000 views and then 20,000 views. And then now people are subscribing. And I think within, within a month, I had already reached the 4,000 Wow. Watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers. And the first payment was, I think, 23,000 rent. Your I first paid, Yeah, your, my first, my first wow. payment. I couldn't believe it. Because even when we saw it, my husband is like, babe, have you ever filled any, have you completed any forms at YouTube? Do they know you? Where did you sign? <laughs> I'm like, they don't know me. Like, I started stressing good hi, this buddy's not going to come. You know? <laughs> like, <what? laughs> and You're I thinking it's a scam. On, yeah. yeah. I thought it was this guy. Like, I go there on YouTube uh, studio. You, yes, you see, 23,000. Yeah, and then they said I must complete the, the, my, 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 my banking details. I'm like, they only want my banking details. So that they, they deposit the money. They don't even know my ID number. You understand? Like, they didn't oh, ask for my ID. Like, there yeah. was nothing. But then, yeah, we waited, obviously, for the PIN. When the PIN came, the very first day that I punched in the PIN, I received a message, it was on the 15th that uh, the money has been sent. And then the next uh, three days later, I got like 8,000 rand. And then on the 23rd same month, I got the rest of the money, which made it 23 as wow. a whole. And from that day, the sky was the limit. I knew that if I can make 20 plus, 20K plus in one month, then... Then you your know, life changed. My, my life changed. I started hiring stuff because I was like, if I can make 20,000 by myself... If I can get extra hands, you know, then I can make 40. If I can get extra hands, I can get 60. And I did. Wow. Yeah, I literally used to set up goals for myself that this month I want to make 50. And if I make 50, I'm like, next month I can make 60. I can make 70. I can, I can, I can. And yeah, I can, I can until we were living a very comfortable life. Yeah, unfortunately, YouTube is not our friend. Then he decided to. Yeah, he decided to just. I, I see right now. I see like the the, the on on the two world like the views are not like going. Yeah, what, what's besides happening? even the views, I would say it's 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 the money, because I remember there was a time where in okay every every December I don't know what was happening with YouTube in December, but I would make a lot of money. Like we can get to like hundred k, hundred and twenty, you know. But then there was a December that came and I got half of that money. I even had a conversation with them like, okay, what, what, what's happening? Because I still got the same views, which was like my target market was always 4 million views every single month. Yeah. It was always 4 million views. That was my goal. I don't care how many views I get on one video, but them combined, it must be 4 million views. That way I knew that the money is going to be 80 K plus. Yo. Yeah, so when now sure. it started going down, I, I even had a conversation with them and they said, unfortunately, it's not up to us. It depends on the, the CPM, the CPM, the, the advertisement companies that are advertising with that, how much they want to pay. Some things that I, it's just beyond my control. Like even if they try to make it make sense to me, it doesn't matter. The fact is that the money is going down, you know? So the money did go down, but at least, I mean, we moved from like 80 to like 40, you know, which was still fine. I mean, I, I work from home. I don't have to pay transport. I don't have to, you know, and all my staff were also working from home. So did he feel like, uh, did he feel, did he, was he moved with the money that you're making? No, he was excited. He was very excited because hmm? uh, that's money. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so for him, it was like, cause he, I don't want to lie. He struggled when he, it was just him alone mm -hmm. working for us. Mm -hmm. Cause it was the five mm -hmm. of us. He had to pay. Um, our son's school fees, the other two daycares, uh, he has to support me with just one income. And he's a lover of things. I'm sure you can tell. He's a lover of things. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can I can tell with the iPhone there. <laughs> yes. so, oh my word. <laughs> so to him, he was he could finally breathe. He could finally get what he wanted. He could finally just go on internet and search for the kind of car that he wants. Wow. Do online shopping because he has always wanted that. But unfortunately, he couldn't because oh. he had to support us. You and know? you spoke also about the Kia Picanto. He bought you the yeah. car. When he didn't have a car. <laughs> he he when bought you the car. Wow, you're so he said sweet. That, it's nice. Oh my God. I'm so touched. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Yeah. 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 They didn't even have like public transport, but yeah. he made it work. He made it work, and he was like, "I don't want to be at work the whole day with the car when you, you don't have." Exactly. And I'm at need home. to pick up the kids and take stuff them like to that. Yeah. yeah. So he he bought me the Kia Picanto. Maybe also the pride couldn't allow him to drive the Kia Picanto. Ah, <laughs> because, not about the pride. Well. Because the, before then he was working for um um uh, for Ford Motor Company, so they used to drive like the latest cars. You wow. know, even at home, like they knew that no, surely when he comes back, it's a new Ford Focus, it's a new Eco Sport. It's a new one, wow. you know. So now he had to downgrade to like a Kia Picanto. Yeah. yeah, I think the Kia Picanto didn't even make it home. Oh. <laughs> I made it home through you, not through, through me, me. Yes, through me, because I had to drive there alone. But yeah, uh, so I think he he is an amazing man because. Shit, man, the guy, he, he went through a lot. He, he Which guy? Like, you. you like, <laughs> like this guy, like he went through. I, like, but it, it didn't, the, the him buying me a car, it didn't really surprise me. I mean, this is the same guy that took a loan to bury my mother. This is the same guy that took oh. a loan to took my brother to school. Oh. To take my brother to school. You understand? Are you going to make me cry now? So You're it's, amazing. <laughs> so it's That's nothing, amazing. Like, he's already done something that... I don't think... He, he, he was a boy. He was only 20, 22, 23 then. Oh. You know, he was his life was just starting to, you know? Mm. But then he came with a baggage. Like, I would say I came as a baggage. And even his family sit us down and like, now that Divo doesn't have a mother... She's got a brother. Should do you are marrying a woman that has a child? Hey, you know he doesn't have a child. He's never been like a man, man, man. Like he never really enjoyed his his first salary because there's always school fees, you know, school trip. There's always this and that, you know. To a point, I mean, we used to only be we could only afford to buy bright pack for the whole month, oh. and I had to like I used to choose the one with big big piece, so I used to you divide it into them. four. Yeah. yeah, so every day it was that, and the only thing that he would say to me is that, babe, just try to cook them differently. Don't use my stuff <laughs> every day. Like, <laughs> Don't let you ever yeah. try to roast the nan. Yeah. But then if it has my straw, then it becomes more. You can you know dip. Mm. You can and that use time the it was hard. No, it, it was, was hard. hard you know, like I, I could I could taste like you know you know that taste of of bright pack before you even yeah. <laughs> you even know it. <laughs> like you know that it's going to test like this yeah. and I used to say that there's something that you're putting on this meat man that is like not it. nice <laughs> <laughs> but he was just tired of it you know even at work there was a time when they used to do it like I think almost every month where in they pop out 50 rands and then they would have bride it was the, the company was in Mami Lodi so there was a Mami Lodi place where they would buy like bride meat and he couldn't afford it it was oh. sad, you know, to a point where sometimes he would say, maybe I shouldn't go to work on that day. Because oh. you would be there, people are buying, they will give him. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you're working. <laughs> you're an engineer, you're driving the latest car, you can't afford 50 rands. And he became a charity case, though. People would just take. To be like, hey, God, what's, what's yeah. wrong? And mm. they're giving him steak to taste there, but he has to put it in the bag because, hey, bread pack at home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> One piece, you know. I remember there, there was a time where in uh, yeah, that time it was what is it called? Leo Sturis. Yeah, for yes, the yes, yes. At that time he goes to work with Paloni every single day. Uh, like what's the, it's like I, I'd rather die eating it. Like uh, we didn't stop eating the paloni that time. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what there's no other option. Like uh, it's paloni or nothing. So yeah, man. So that's why I'm saying it 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 didn't like nothing he does for me that it surprises me, it doesn't shock me anymore. I can say he's got amazing parents. He does. We're he talking does. about him as if he's not here. It's like we are gossiping about mm, him. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I can say your ma your parents are amazing because they say yeah. behind every successful ma man is a woman, not you, the mom. Uh, or the dad. It's true. Or is it both? I think it's a, it's a bit of both. Yeah. Because, uh, I think I come from a family where in giving and, and caring about other people has always been priority. Yeah. Wow. Like, uh, like when I grew up, we were 20 in the house mm. and the house, what, three bedroom, I think. And wow. we were 20. Like some would sleep in the passage. Some would sleep, like we would be eight in the, in the room. The, the girls on the other side, maybe six or seven. We were always like that. So that's, that's just how we grew up. Yeah. And by then he means that it was not his like mom's kids. Other mm. people's yes, kids, relatives, yes, relatives, yeah. Relatives, yeah. So. yeah, I mean, they did a pretty, they did a pretty good job. I told them on on our wedding. I told them that Ashem, you did, um, you, you you did well, man. I mean, he complains that his his mom is she's such a giver. Like he complains that like he's always giving things, but he's also like that, and he got wow. it from her. You know? He's amazing. I can see. Yes. Now I get to now. Now I really know you. I've seen you on YouTube, <laughs> but now I really know you. You know, wow. Yeah. 
so uh, a lot of men they've got a problem of like their ego you know men their ego mm. they they want to feel like I'm the man I'm the man of the house I don't wash dishes I don't even come on your YouTube channel you want to make fun of me <laughs> this is silly things silly things yeah. but in in him I see I see yeah I mean he's No I've got I've got my own faults right and and I won't lie about that I've got my own faults um and I have gone through maybe a 360 in terms of my life and growing as well because um there are so many things that I used to do wrong a lot of wrong things uh and like you're saying a lot of ego uh, as well mm. but when you get to to be with someone you you get to learn to put yourself aside and consider the other person and how they feel. So that's that's pretty much how I got to learn some of the things and become better every single day. If if yesterday I was not washing the 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 plates, let's say the dishes, then tomorrow I have to do that. I cannot always be the same man with a with with uh, I, I don't know what you call it. Same uh, mindset. Same mindset exactly that men cannot do this. Oh me as a man cannot do this uh women are supposed to do th- i cannot be that kind of a person like for me i believe in change i believe in 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 allowing yourself to grow from a situation and not remain stagnant on a situation because it simply makes you uh com- comfortable so i look at myself on a day to day basis and i look at it and i'm like ah okay yesterday you did this this is not particularly good you know improve on that and even though i won't particularly come back to her and always confess that uh no i i i i learned something from what she said but i would always i believe in i'm a firm believer that everything can change including me yeah and do you on your side also like are you are you are you are you giving back to him because i see he's, he, he he loves you so much <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing the ah uh, is this the ah uh, or the da where you sleep on the I, I, I do the ah uh, he does the the da <laughs> yeah um i i believe that it's yeah i i do put in the work don't i he wouldn't be here right hmm. i mean no, he wouldn't does. he wouldn't even be on my channel hmm. like why would you be coming there when you hmm. know that your wife does not you know do what she needs to do but i i mean i'm not i'm not perfect i've i also have my own flaws i've done things that obviously he doesn't like we fight and but we always remember our vision as a family why we got married and where we want to where we want to go so i think both of us are putting in 100% 100% mm. yeah, yeah but she's a difficult one i always have to be answering to something like she 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 talks right she's mm. she's she's vocal mm. about some things that she doesn't like mm. so mina i will keep quiet if i don't like something i keep up I'm, i'm generally i will come quiet. to her and say hey babe uh, yesterday you did this and this mm. and you this. just keep quiet i just keep quiet what I, if she repeats she repeats it even if she repeats you, so, you so just for keep me, quiet how i operate right is that i believe that um like even if you do something multiple times right you 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 how do i put it that you can you, like it's a mistake in a way i don't want to use the word mistake but you wouldn't intentionally make me um like hurt me in a way right so even if you do it intentionally so but i always believe that you will do better tomorrow so in such a sense that i always choose happiness like for instance if she does something it uh, it hurts me and i will be angry for that moment and stuff like that but within a few hours or within a day if she does like if she smiles or she does something then i <laughs> then gone. you smell big you know <laughs> then i am done with it so we move forward yes. so for me I, i i always handle situation in that manner that it's not going to last forever whatever that is going on it's not going to last forever even if she does it for 8 years but i know that it's not going to last oh. forever even though some of them can store i can store them to such a such a way that they hurt me but unfortunately she wouldn't even see that i am hurt or i've got problems in a way up until maybe in a blue moon i normally say it if she starts uh, attacking me then i will then you also don't do this you also exactly. don't do this you also don't do this and i'm like hypo so all along you were quiet you were quiet now, <laughs> you, are, now you are you're going to be counting them now that i've got a problem then i said no buti let's discuss my problem first uh. yours find another day <laughs> and he's not going to find it yeah so. i see yeah. i see they say they say you should love your wife as christ loved the church like us as as sinners we we sin every day but yeah. jesus christ he loves us he loves each us, and yeah. every day so on the um, on the on the on the new journey like you're you're refocusing on the new channel like <laughs> yes. new rebranding or what i don't know what's happening there um hey do you want to <laughs> i think maybe you with your better english maybe you come uh, right but um i think yeah it's it's a it's a tricky one because I think we we have always struggled with this for a long time as she indicated gossip for us 
has always been part of our, our journey on the basis of, of money, money the fact that yeah. it makes us money it gets views and stuff like that but uh, when when we we were sitting the other day I think we were having a prayer session uh, with the kids and then we when we was uh, I think there was a scripture that we were reading that talked about gossip and the kids were there they are like you and mommy you are you are you are you gossip You're you guys gossipers. are gossipers <laughs> And the Bible is telling you that you are Ooh. gossiping, you know. And at that point, it was just a day or two after we had spoken about it. And then that's where in we, we then realized that uh, even even as, as much as we make fun of, of people's situation and not particularly with, the, with saying other malicious things that people would generally say. But the bottom line is that we are exposing people. We are talking about what people are doing. We are... We, and, and in as much as some of them would like it, some of... Other people are getting it hurts, hurt. Yeah. And we have had other celebrities that go out and, and complain about the two of us, you know, that we said yeah. certain things that were uh, that were not right. They mm. just say this couple was busy saying certain things, you know. Then it shows that people are getting hurt mm. from what we are doing. And it, in the, like like I said in the in the beginning, that we we believe in transformation. We mm. cannot remain the uh, same, the same mm. knowing that something that we are doing is affecting someone negatively. Mm. That's where in we decided to make a decision that uh, no, we, we need to um, change the way we are doing things. And in as much as we were not meaning any harm, but it's coming out yeah. harming people either way. So we need to change and do something different. That's where in we said, um, let's follow um, our passion in terms of obviously talking. We have got a lot of stories to tell. We, we've got, we have got a lot of lessons that we have gone through in our lives. So let us share our experience. Let us talk about things that will impact people's lives, things that will change people's lives, things that will bring comfort, even to those ones that are watching. Even, it, even if it comes at our detriment to such an extent that we lose views, people are no longer interested in us because we were relevant because of the, of the celebrities. celebrities. It doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that now we will do something that our conscience as well will be clean. I don't and, know also if you be, add. and also be a good example to our kids. I think um, the making the, the decision to leave gossip was one of the hardest one. I think we made the, the decision. We prayed that day uh, during the prayer session with the kids. And two days later, I, uh, I'm i an overthinker. Mm. I came back and like, babe, I think we can actually do it. We can actually just say nice things about them, you know? Mm. But when I went back to prayer, God said, gossip is gossip. And I hate it, you mm. know? And I'm like, but I, I, I've, I've had so many businesses, but nothing has ever made me money like, like YouTube. Like, yes. like, and it doesn't, it, like it's not an effort for us. We just sit and we talk. Mm. And it, I, like, I don't even spend, I, like it literally takes me like five to 10 minutes to, to edit a video. Mm. It doesn't take me much time because I've been doing it for, eight, for four years. It's, I, I know it like the back of my hand. And just when, I feel like things were getting much, much better in terms of I now have the other one. I have this one. I'm doing it with my husband. We're getting famous. We're getting recognized, you know? And then that is the time we in, we have to stop. Like it was, it, it was painful. You know, if you are stopping when you're no longer making money, when you're no longer getting the views, ah, it's fine. You know, there's no loss. But when you have to literally sacrifice the mm. money that you're making, the views that it, it comes with an embarrassment. I mean, if you were getting 50k views from talking about Bonang, and then now you can't be talking about yourself, you're getting 1k, you know, mm. it, it's, it's a bit embarrassing, but I think when you understand your vision and you understand where you want to go and where mm. you see yourself and the intentions of doing it, I mean, other than anything right now, we want to do a content that even five years later, mm. we can watch it and be proud about, we mm. can be proud of it. Our, our children can watch it and be proud of it as well that, oh, shame, my mom and I mean, even today I still watch videos of Miles Monroe. He's no more. But his message still mm. does something to me. It's still mm. impactful in my life. Mm. So that's the kind of content that we're looking at, looking at our visions. I'm a life coach. We are relationship coaches. So we want something that is also in alignment with that. We want to serve the kingdom of God. So now this channel, the the the, the, the T world, you're gonna just leave it, or you just gonna come in and post there so that. You it's going to be attacked eventually. I think uh, one thing at a time, that's what we we're focusing yeah. on. She's no longer involved in, in the tea world. That's mm -hmm. number one. Um, so eventually we will we will look into the bigger plan behind the tea world. But for now, it's surviving as it is, but without uh, involvement. And yeah. I see you guys got a PA. 
PA. Did she call you? Yeah, she called me. <laughs> she called me. But what if I got, like, I just asked my sister, like, call and pretend to be a PA. No. <laughs> I know, because, I, I, I know, because, like, I think on the two world, there are people who are doing the management yeah. and what her. So, I, I was not surprised. You're not surprised. There is a PA. Yeah. Things yeah. are happening. Imagine from a till pecker to a person who has a PA. PA. Yeah, like, like, hi, I mean, glory. Look at God. Like, Where glory are you? to God. Like, <laughs> God, thank you. You know? Like, you see why? Like, mm. even if, if God had spoken to me four years ago, that I don't do it mm. it would have been very difficult like okay what do you want me to do mm. but now four years later when you have made the things that you, money that you have made you have already done other things you now know i understand the money and everything and you still say no mm. that would be very ungrateful of me mm. like if god could do the things that he has done for me what mm. what more can he do you mm. know so yeah yeah i think um i've, I've had this this saying that says uh, in africa we are remembered for the car that she drives for you know, for what she has achieved, like yeah. the material stuff, but the house. In, but in yeah, the house, yes. But in the first world countries, it's all about this is Ndivu. She came up with a vaccine. This is you know, mm. Pastor Bear. Mm. He, he is a philanthropist. Mm. So it's all about impacting people in a positive way. 100%. Not you driving the BMW. No, no that's, that's they don't care. Yeah. They, they, somebody was saying, Do you do you even know the um the car Mark Mark Zuckerberg the drives? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you know? No, we don't. And I don't. Ever. Yeah, we don't know and we don't care. But it's all about having an impact in, mm. in people's, people's lives, lives and yeah. allowing God to use you in the direction that he wants. Yes. So, yeah, we were only left with um, three minutes. Um, so, like, on the, on the money, the 800,000, what did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy like cash cars for cash or what? Eh? No, no. I think it came over time, like she said. Mm. Um, so, so we, we, we have. Uh, I mean, the house that we are staying in right now was made possible because of the, um, mm. the, 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 the channel uh, YouTube wow. money. So it was made possible. The, even just the cars that we drive, we wouldn't have been able to even think of them mm. unless we we had that income that came mm. through. So it has elevated us uh, a, a bit better from where we were. Mm. I mean, like she said, we were able to afford some of the things uh, to be to be here even at this point. I think it was because of the affordability that we managed from, from YouTube. Like she said uh, as well, that I, I, I love things. So to be able to look the way I want to look, to be able to uh, eat the way we want to eat, eat out. Our kids love food. So for, for, for us to be able to provide that on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, symbol of, of the money that we have made on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. I am so happy to finally... <laughs> see you in person i don't know what like the like the last words that you can tell to to, to encourage people maybe those who uh, want to start a youtube channel or the parents the, you know our parents let me tell you when i started this youtube thing my mother was so annoyed she was <laughs> even my husband yo yeah like why are you doing it why are you doing it i yeah. remember there was a time when i wanted to go and film with the same twins immigrant my husband made sure that he would take my wallet so that i don't you don't go, go. yeah because they don't understand yes he was like why why then i was like no i'm going and i told him the previous night that i'm gonna go then he said no you cannot go ah, tomorrow morning i wake up i bath ah, i see the mood is changed yeah no, the wallet is not there the wallet is not there so now <laughs> because i can't drive to be I, I i i i had to use the like how train now i don't have the money i get into his car there's money then i stole the money <laughs> <laughs> he when follows you have, when you have the dream and the passion Imagine. Yeah. he follows me then he's like i want my man i said yeah baba i did not steal your money i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so like that's when he called my mom then my mom was like why are you doing that why are you doing that mm. stay at home stay at home like <sighs> so i'm yeah. saying what 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 advice can you give to parents who have children with a dream or husband who have got wives with a dream of setting a YouTube channel? I would say that, firstly, to the person that has the dream, um, go for it. It's never too late. There's no, oh, other people started 10 years ago. Other people are starting today and they're making it, mm. you know, do it. And to parents, I would say that I am a believer of supporting your children's uh, um, dream, like my husband. Uh, we make sure that we always have a conversation with our kids. What do you want to do? Today, they want to be cricket players. We going to buy the kid next month. They don't want to be that. Like you wasted our money, but then we allow them to change their minds. You know, allow your children to like, let them try out whatever that they want to try. Look at us. We are trying out things mm. at an older age because we were never given that opportunity. Mm. But with children, allow them. Like I've got Ethan. Ethan loves YouTube. I can see he loves vlogging. I'm allowing him that space. If he doesn't want to do it tomorrow, it's okay. You know? But you you can't say no to something before you try it. Imagine if my husband had said no. 
where would we be today? Mm-hmm. You know, so I would say parents should support their children's dreams. Yeah, no, definitely. And and I, I think as, as parents, let's not be the reason why our kids um, fail in life because some of the things we, we plant them without even realizing it. I always say to people that, especially in the rural areas, uh, some of us where we, we grew up in the rural areas, uh, I was a very good soccer player, very, very good. But look at me now. That was not realized on the basis of not particularly supporting your children to realize their dreams simply because you feel that it's not good for them. Nowadays, anything goes. Any Whatever it is shoot. that yeah. anything, <laughs> even if it's playing game at home, it goes, it makes a lot of money. Mm. So allow your kids to explore and to realize their dreams in ways that you yourself never thought uh, could be possible in a way. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we've come, unfortunately, we've come to the end of this podcast and uh, it was amazing. Thank no, you guys. Was, eh? Thank you. For, I wish we could go on and on. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> it was. <laughs> Thank you very much. And please uh, consider subscribing if you really like watching such kind of content. Yeah. No, definitely. Do co- do subscribe now. Subscribe, Sub- subscribe to her. Eh? Like, yeah. I, Tina, Tina, we have made it already, you know. So, <laughs> Just kidding, but yeah, I think, I think, uh, no, thank you as well for the platform. I think it was good to talk to you. Uh, we, we really, really appreciate the opportunity to come and meet you. I mean, we would have been maybe languishing on the couch uh, right now, but we got an opportunity to talk and express ourselves, but also hear you out in terms of what you also have to share with us. So thank you. Appreciate thank you for it. having us. Thank you so much.